I think for me, the most important thing is in life is choppers, surf, good food, and good sex. I got a job in the valley, but to do anymore. I'm Giannis uh, Vincenzo, uh, as known as Tropical Jesus. I came to Lanzarote when I was a little child on holiday with my parents. I always liked surfing but never got the chance to surf. And I obviously knew that one day I would come here. I, we quit our jobs and said, okay, let's move somewhere else. And my first thing in mind was Lanzarote because it was somewhere I used to come and I knew I loved and I could surf and work. And it's a completely different way of living. It's just an island life, no traffic, no cops. If you want to be naked, you can be naked. If you want to ride a bike without an helmet or with an helmet, whatever, you, you can do whatever you want pretty much. We opened this restaurant about Three years ago, my parents always owned a restaurant in France and I was pretty much raised in the restaurant industry. We saw a little little place that was up for rent and we said, okay, like this is our chance to actually do our own little business. So it's just a family business. It's me, my wife, they in the kitchen and we do the floor. We'll do cocktails and drinks. I run all the food and I'm slowly getting into the kitchen scene as well. I'm enjoying the cooking and getting creative in the kitchen. It's all been an amazing experience all together. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that little girl with the bright red hair. I started writing. I think I was a kid. I must have been around eight years old, I want to say. It was my dad's Vespa and he would give me the keys and I would just ride it in the garage. I always loved choppers and every bike I feel like in the chopper industry has its character. It, it like represents the person so I decided to get a, my first Harley Davidson which is a Sportster. It's a 883 nine, from a 1996 which we just recently built like me and two other friends. Uh, I just gave the ideas, they did all the work pretty much. We don't have a big family here, it's just me, my wife and my parents, so it, it feels like this group of people that we got along is like a family to me, where with a motorcycle, when we need help, I know that they're there for me and I'm there for them. And it's just a really fucking amazing group of guys where we just all get along, we want to have a good time, no stress, and we have weekends where we just think of nothing, where it's just ride motorbikes, have a beer, even surf, and that's all we need. Like our lifestyle, I think is just the simple, the better. Plus, also, she'll probably scream with you. I'm a stone. She was born in October, so she's almost four months now. And she's gonna be a rider like her dad. <laughs> I like you. She's wearing actually one of the little t-shirts that wearing, we made her. Uh, yeah, the the Church of Chopper. <laughs> little Chopper Girl. The biker group. Which was made by the little biker group. We're hoping to get her on the motorcycle and, and riding waves and horses and anything that's fun. <laughs> What I liked about the clothing was it was comfortable, it was nice to ride in, and I actually liked the style of the clothing. The boots were super nice. I love the trousers, the jeans were super comfortable to ride with because jeans and boots are probably the most important thing when you ride. Like, I love feeling comfortable when I'm riding. Honestly, they were super nice. The style I like, because they had like this vintage feel to them. I feel like the older they get, 
and the more they get used, the nicer would it, they would look and also feel. And the jacket felt super nice. It kept me warm like when I was riding at night, but it also kept me feeling fresh when I was riding during the day. So it was perfect to ride at night and during the day.